Yeah, I thought I would. Hi guys, welcome to the studio. I'm here with Miss Sam today. Hi. And she's going to do our video today because, you know, you're excited to take a turn. I'm super excited. She's super excited that I told her everyone was taking a turn. Um, but if you're just joining us this summer, we wanted to let you know we're doing these live videos every single day, Monday through Friday, from different instructors at both studios to give you an idea of creative things that you can do at home if you can't make it here to the studio this summer. Super, super fun stuff today. I'm really trying to focus all my videos on stuff that we can do outside because it's summer and I absolutely love being outside. So today, last week I did some chalk shaving. This week I'm going to do some liquid chalk paint. And we're also going to explore dry chalk and wet chalk and different things we can draw with chalk on. I've got some black paper. I've also got a big piece of wood. we got to show you this cart that she has. Hang on. She's prepared an entire cart for this video. We'll oh turn it around. Goodies. Turning around slowly. Maybe not. Hang on. It doesn't like my finger. Oh, there we go. Yay. <laughs> are you gonna? Stuff. Are you going to sit down here? I am going to sit down. Okay, I'm going to sit down here too. Okay. That way I'll, I'll man the camera and be the manual zoom if we need to. And then see I'm setting up all of her stuff here. She's got a whole cart of goodies. Look at that. Oh, yes. And we're in the shade because it's, like, really good for filming. Like, it's good lighting. We get in the, the sun part and it's too high contrast and it makes hor horrible shadows. So, and hot. but it's hot. Okay. So many goodies. So many goodies. It's almost done. It's getting everything hooked up. Down here. Okay, so what you need to make the liquid chalk, you need cornstarch. Yeah. And it is a powder form. You need water. And you need color, you can use liquid watercolors, it's the best, what I like to use. I've also got lots of other stuff, but we'll get into that a little bit later. First, I'm going to show you how to make it. So, we're going to take cornstarch. I've got a nice little scoop in mine. You make a whole picture of it, huh? I am. I am a terrible cook. Well, I'm not very good at measuring things. So I say just go until it's like milky white, watery. You don't want it thick. Otherwise you end up with oobleck yes. or gack. It settles really, really quick. The best way to break down the cornstarch if you use warm water to start with really, really helps. Yeah, good to know. I figured that out today. Did you? Yes, I did. That's very cool. Yes. Live and learn. So there's my plain white chalk. These are Dollar Tree trays, right? Yes. Aren't they adorable? I love Make those trays. Organizing trays. Yep. You live in Liberty, though, you're going to have a hard time finding them because I buy them out every time I see them. I'm like, oh, you have six of those? I'll take them all. Take them all. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take my watercolors. You want to explain your color mixing? Yes, I've gotten really good at mixing all the colors. Um, doing parties for so long and doing stuff like this all the time. So you use the three primaries and you made... I do. So I've got my blue. I made my purple in the middle. I've got green on this side. This side, I've got red, orange, and yellow. And I will say, even if you use warm water, the cornstarch settles really, really quickly. And you'll kind of feel it. It's a very strange feeling. We use it in sensory bins as well. It's really fun. You can put shells and sea critters into just cornstarch and water. And my kids really struggle pulling it out. It gets really sticky, but it's really fun. Okay. Time for some magic. And if they have too much cornstarch in their liquid chalk, you'll know it because it like goops onto your brush and it's, yes. it's hard to paint with. But every time you put your brush in, you kind of give that a stir. Yes. 
That's very important. And I always tell the kids to make sure you're stirring it. Sometimes they forget. It still shows up. It's just not as bright once it's dry. And it does go on a little bit dark, but when it dries, it is so bright and so wonderful. And it mixes just like paint. Yes. Yeah. I'll drop some yellow in. Yeah, do that for me. So you know I like my watercolor. This would be really awesome for like the 4th of July when you have all your family come over and you don't want all of those kids running rampant in your house. Send them outside with some of this and they will have a blast. Uh, big kids love it too. I am always amazed at how fast our school age kids can go through our chalk. They will go out there on the patio and cover every <laughs> inch of concrete. It's really awesome. Here I've got some wet chalk. So it's kind of it's the same idea. This is going to be a lot more soft, squishy, um, and we're going to explore a dry chalk too. I'm going to paint some of this in the sunshine over here, Miss Sam, because it'll dry faster over here, and then they can see. Assuming the camera can actually work in the sun. Ooh. Yes. What's that? This is the wet chalk, so it's just soaking in water, and it's just. <laughs> Miss Allison knows because that's who does the shopping. Dollar store. Yes. Dollar store chalk. Get all this for a dollar. For a dollar. <laughs> How long did you soak the chalk for, Miss Sam? I poured the water in there five minutes before we came out. So it doesn't take long. If you let it soak, forever, it will eventually dissolve into nothing, but I mean, if you get all this for a dollar, it's totally worth getting it wet, or you can accidentally leave it out in the rain, that's always <laughs> fun. It is very magical, and you can draw on, you can do with sticks, logs, rocks with this, because it's so soft, it covers very well, and it's extremely satisfying. Yeah, Not it is. Not dry chalk isn't, but there's yeah. definitely a different feel to it. When you drag this across, you can feel it kind of gripping when you slide this one across. It's nice and juicy. I like wet chalk better. I do too. <laughs> I also have, these are tie-dye bottles, and I put the same mixture, so just this cornstarch and all the bottles, and then I put a little bit of the liquid watercolors in them. And you can see how it settles, right? Yes. Yeah. Maybe? Maybe there's one. There's, there's a good one. one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's lighter at the bottom. Before you use this, you definitely want to shake it up. If you're wanting this to last hours for a party or something, do not recommend these because the kids will spit them out empty so fast. But they absolutely love it and it's really, really, really fun. I'm going to do some of this one. That's an orange. <laughs> Is a quick way to cover the concrete. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Let's do the difference in my blue. sunshine. So that was really subtle. This one is too. So this is like white on the bottom. That's very subtle. You definitely want to shake that one up really good. Yeah, I'm having so much fun. You're just like a big kid. I am. <laughs> Got my green. When I make my green, I like to put just a teeny little bit of blue and lots of yellow. So you kind of get this really bright lime green, like a Grinch green, my favorite kind of green. Some over here. Our neighbors are going to be so excited that we decorated their sidewalk for them. pretty like tie-dye effect when they yes. start to kind of run together. And... My favorite part of using liquid chalk here for classes is when all the kids leave and I have to throw it away, I dump all the trays on the concrete and I watch all the colors flow together. It's really awesome. <laughs> if there's any left. If there's any left. <laughs> it's kind of like washing pallets in the sink. It's magical yeah. and so much fun. Another thing you can add 
is just plain water. So I've got three bottles of just plain water. It's always fun to kind of mix in your mediums. Uh oh. Got a, a wonky bottle, but that's okay. <laughs> Because before they figure out the spray bottle, they usually spray themselves right in the face. They got <laughs> hold their thumb here and they just hit themselves right in the eyeball. But then they have it figured out. Um, sometimes their fingers are short too, and it's really hard for them to reach the trigger. So you can understand why they have trouble. And they're dollar store spray bottles. Dollar store is the best. They're the best. Our landlord would love that. Yeah, we're not going to do that today, <laughs> but you can do it at home. Yeah, you can. Oh, I meant to tell you guys, at my grandparents' house, they have these two giant retaining walls in the basement, so it's just concrete walls holding the house dirt away, and it is amazing to go draw chalk all over there. It's so fun. So if you have retaining walls. Like cinder block or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Bricks, or bricks. Too, and just take the hose to it. It washes right it washes off. Right off. That's what's nice about the liquid washable watercolor is instead of food coloring, is it's not going to stain. Food coloring stains. Yeah. Stain your fingers, stain the clothes. Yes, it doesn't wash off very well. So I'm going to start with some wet chalk. This is the chalk that I just had soaking. We're going to do some fun little swirly. We put these boards out uh, during the winter through our classes, and we have all of our classes. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays, fundamental classes will all work on the same board. And then at the end of the month, we clear coat it. If you make something that you absolutely love and adore and want to keep forever, it is chalk. So it will wipe off. If it gets wet, it'll completely wash off. We have this let's see, triple thick crystal clear glaze. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> and that was our favorite. We've tried all the, t all the different kinds. Yes, we recently found this one within the last two years, and it is life-changing. Super, super shiny look, and it really, really is a good protectant for stuff like this. We do our clay. What else do we clear coat? Polymer clay, Polymer air dry clay, clay really any tile good. coasters. Oh, yeah, tile, tile coasters. That's a good one. You could even spray this over acrylic paintings just to make them super shiny because this stuff is it's pretty shiny yeah it is back to my coloring you know what else wet chalk works really well on sandpaper have we ever tried that I can't remember. I think we have. I think we have. It's been a while though, but sandpaper is a fun thing to color on. Anything with a little bit of a tooth to it or a little bit of a grip to it, it really works well. Yes, it really glides, glides through. It's it does. Like, kind of like the quick sticks. Yeah, yeah. So it's very satisfying. The quick sticks, quick sticks are kind of like lipstick. It's yeah, really, are. really fun. It's really, really juicy. And it's just so smooth. You could just keep going. You can also. mess up, you could wipe it off, or you could just give it a second to dry and then take the chalk and go right over it. And now I'm going to do some more chalk paint. Now my trays, the paint has really settled. There's two ways to tell. Oops, I dropped the camera. Sorry guys. <laughs> There's two ways to tell. Um, you can either see the white on the bottom. Oh, let's take a zoom underneath. Zoom there. under that. Yeah. So Whoa. That's white. It's all settled. And you can also.
also tell because the color on top is really, really dark. When we mix that cornstarch in, it's going to get lighter. We also have those paint cups, those no spill paint cups. So if you, yes. Yeah, and those work really well for this. If you have young ones and you're worried about them, like, flipping that tray, stepping on it. Yeah, because that's going to end the fun pretty quickly. When I mix, I know I mix in my picture this time, but sometimes I really like to find, we get these creamer cans that have the screw on lid, or even this container. Shout out to our people who donate creamer cans to us. Yes. What? I like to put my cornstarch into a container and then the water and put the lid on it and shake it. Or you're going to have to have some kind of utensil to really stir in the cornstarch. This has already settled too. Nice, nice long quickly. spatula. You need some of those. Mix, mix, mix. Every single time. I like these little runs. Yep, yep. Okay, now I'm going to do some of the spray bottle. So they could set up like all these little tools and trays and, and just let them go crazy. It's really, really fun and it's very interesting to me to give the kids supplies and just see where they take it. They come up with some really good ideas. Uh, they never fail to surprise me. Very cool. And I always love it when a kid takes a piece of dry chalk and so great. It's a good feeling. <laughs> You're like, you did it. I'm like, yes, you did it. Yay. <laughs> unfortunately, the water does make the chalk. You go through the chalk a lot faster when you use it wet. So a lot of kids are told not to get it wet, not to leave it outside in the rain. And I understand that. But you got to try it at least once because it's amazing. is coming together well. I like it. Me too. I do have one other um, what am I looking for? Yeah. Thing to paint on. Oh, your black paper. Yes, my black paper. So like rainy day, if you're inside, you can't go outside. Yes. That's never fun. No, it's not. But you can take these outside toys inside. <laughs> I like the black paper because it creates a lot of contrast in the chalk. Once it's dry, sometimes when it's wet it seems a little darker, but once it's dry it's very, very light and very, very bright. So this again is the wet chalk. I'm going to do the sunshine this time. Well, and the nice thing too is it's not dusty. I mean, it's it not. is once it dries, but when you're putting it on, yeah, it doesn't. It just, you don't have that chalk dust. Yes, so you won't get lightheaded going. <laughs> Oop, where'd my wet chalk go? Sometimes we use these trays to put our wet chalk in just to kind of separate them by color, but really it doesn't matter. You can put them all in together. They're not going to mix colors or get ruined or anything like that. So much fun. So the orange is already drying and it's getting really light. Looking awesome. Swirl some red in here too. Okay, now we're going to move on to some liquid chalk on black paper. That's definitely going to look really dark. Yes. Do 
doing the liquid chalk on top of the wet chalk is also interesting because the liquid chalk is going to re-soften the wet chalk and it really blends it in. Very nice. Do really cool ombre. And the brushes we're using, these are just our like preschool brushes. These like, are my new preschool brushes. I just I just out. bought them for you. I wanted to start the summer with some new ones. <laughs> But they're nice because they've got really durable bristles. Like you're they not gonna are. ruin them grinding grinding them into the concrete. Um, they've got big, thick, grippable handles, which is great for the little ones. Yeah. And you can leave these soaking in water. I wouldn't suggest it, but they're not gonna be ruined overnight. Right. Um, Unlike our wood brushes that some do. Some wood handle brushes that I really adore because I just like nature and I like the wooden handle. I have no idea why I prefer the wooden handle, but they have these little metal pieces that hold all the bristles in, and if you leave them soaking in water, the wood swells and gets weird, and the metal comes off, and then then you no longer have a paintbrush. Just have a, you have a stick. Then you have a stick, and <laughs> a little bristle thing. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some real quick clouds. I was trying to think of a way that we could do some stencils with the liquid chalk. I have never tried that before, and I just couldn't come up with a really good way that I knew it would work. So I encourage you to test that out and let us know. And let us know. something that works really Yeah, because well. Sam had about like five minutes to figure it out today, and she just couldn't make it happen. We'll no, keep I working didn't. on it. Yes. <laughs> I forgot to stir that time. It's pretty dark. <laughs> and if you're doing or outside, it was really windy earlier. Really calm down. But you always gotta have some rocks so your papers don't blow away. And that's very frustrating. Hi guys. Hello. We're painting on Facebook Live. Right in front of the door. Right in front of the door. It was a nice shady area. We thought maybe it would do well for the camera. Are you here to pick somebody up from camp? You are. I know that they're done. You're welcome to go in. They just, you know, Sam will let you in. I'll let you in. <laughs> Come on in. We have a three o'clock camp that's ending. I'm going to move this. I'm really, really loving my little dots that I made. Yeah. And those were done with these bottles. Which again, they don't last super long with the little ones. Yeah, that was kind of your like, great. shoosh. <laughs> yes, we're going to do some more of that because I really enjoyed that. Just don't put it over here. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah. I'll try Allison's going to be very <laughs> colorful. <laughs> one bottle down. Oh. Come on in. Don't be shy. Okay. Sure. Yeah, come on in. Okay. She won't really spray you. It just looks like she will. <laughs> Yeah, that's a... But I like it. <laughs> um, if you're really wanting to do this, these, I think we got... We bought those from Discount School Supply. Oh, Discount School Supply. Yeah, I forget what they're called. I'll have to look them up. I always want to think they're called, like, bingo bottles, but that's not it. Bingo bottles? But, they're, but it's something like that. Huh. So I'll, I'll look up the name of it and post them. I think I called them tie-dye bottles. But you did. We have. Really cool. They're my favorite because they've got this twisted <laughs> shut. Yep. So we I don't can use them for puppy paint, for colored glue, for liquid chalk, for tie dye. Right. The possibilities are Because our bottles that come in our tie dye kits have a lid on them, and then we have to keep, we never keep track of the lid. We always lose no it. Track. No. Yeah. Whereas these, you just twist shut. Ooh, I like the purple. It's like a very nice little lavender. Oh, but I'm out. I 
so sad. I'm gonna stand up so I can show your artwork from a bird's eye view. It's a big one. It's a big one. Sam's artwork. Part of it's in the sunshine, part of it's in the shade. So we gotta show only the shade part for a second. And then we'll come out here and show only the sunshine part. Ooh, got my shadow in it though. Maybe we'll only show shade. That's why we didn't do it in the sun. <laughs> I'm afraid you'd never be able to see us. It's too bright. Right? It always dries different than it looks like when it's wet. Yes, it does. And you can put the liquid chalk. I can't remember if I said this already. You didn't. In spray bottles? You can put it in the spray bottles, but again, that starts to settle so fast. I like to give it a really good shake before I give it to the children and I also like to make sure there's not very much because if it's full it's going to have all that time to settle. So and it's it's, it doesn't have as often. much room to like shake it either. Yes and your spray bottle may stop working because the corn starts to So our little squirter bottles probably work better. Yes. Keep the spray bottles with just water. Or water and dye. Water and washable, washable watercolors. Water Ta-da! Ta -da, just like that. So this piece is getting pretty dry. My blue did not turn up very well. But that's okay. You can take some of your wet chalk or some of your dry chalk. Well, it's wet, so. Yeah, your paper's all wet. <laughs> and there's my summer sunshine. At nighttime. At nighttime, because <laughs> the sky's dark. Yes. <laughs> and here's our wood piece. Yes, definitely. It's down the hallway on the left. Yep. Making a mess. <laughs> Hi, Karen. I like doing this with our little ones during the school year. It looks completely different. The kids work on it and they leave and the next day you come in and it's so bright because it's all dry. And then they get to take that wet chalk again and go over it again. And it's just so awesome. Such a great texture. Um, I, be warned, this stuff goes bad and smells horrible. So don't try to save your chalk paint. When you're done using it, you got to throw it out. Can't save it. No, we tried to make it in a big batch one summer, yes. didn't we? Yes, we did, and it was bad. It was horrible. <laughs> we were like, look, we made enough chalk to last us this summer. Yeah, it was a bad idea. Nope, it smelled uh, bad. I even put it in the fridge. 
thought maybe that would keep it. No, nope, I do not suggest it. One day I was reading the back of this and it says you can make it last longer by adding flour. I also do not recommend that if you're doing the liquid chalk. It's not as bright, it's not as vibrant, it's not as satisfying. So yeah. It's more like a paste when you when you add the flour to it. Yes. So and you get kind of chunky, not ideal. Yeah. I definitely prefer the straight cornstarch. Yep. And water. Yep. Very good. Yep. Yep. Is that all we got? Sam, yeah. Here at the Liberty Studio, I had lots and lots and lots of fun making this video. I hope I inspired you to do something. I would love to see pictures of your guys' sidewalks and driveways walls, brick walls, everything. I want to see it. Yep, definitely.